Hello, good morning. Welcome to KT Video Devotionals for Singles. This is the 8th of December and I am Oni Elizabeth. Our topic for today is how friendship and companionship needs can be met. Pastor Sophia writes, The Bible warns us several times about the importance of carefully choosing our friends. Your friends will determine your end. A lot of people have had their lives altered negatively as a result of wrong friendship. Friendship and companionship are not by force. Not everyone will qualify to access your life in friendship. At work, school, and church or in your neighborhood, you need to know who qualifies and who doesn't. God clearly warns us that as his children, friendship with the world is forbidden. Marital union must not be with those who don't fear God. No matter how nice, kind, intelligent, rich, good-looking, pretty or homely a person appears, if he does not have a relationship with God, he or she cannot meet your need for friendship and companionship. Since relationships are by choice and not by force, you must muster enough energy to depart and end unprofitable relationships. Whoever is causing you to fall and constituting a spiritual nuisance in your life is not a friend. Pastor Dunamis writes, Somebody once said that your friend can determine your end, and that is why the last three words in friend is end. Friends are powerful. They can make or mark. Not everybody can be allowed to bad into your inner circle. Do you realize that your greatest decisions are often influenced by your friends? Isn't it smart then to surround yourself with great friends? The scripture says in Proverbs 13 verse 20, KJV, that he that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. Proverbs 13 20 in the message translation, become wise by walking with the wise, hang out with fools and watch your life fall to pieces. Wrong advice given to Amnon by his cunning friend, Jonadab led him to defiling his half-sister and he lost his life few years after in the hands of Absalom in a bloody revenge against his deed. Judas was supposed to be a friend, brother and disciple, but he betrayed Jesus Christ. You have to deliberately watch the kind of people you move with if you really love yourself. You don't choose friends and stay put to them eternally when they are taken away from you rather than adding to you. I don't mean adding money, materials now, but value. You don't hold on to a friend because of sentiment. As the years come to an end, you should take a review of your friends and disconnect from every ungodly alliance. A friend that is always sending you links to pornography sites is not one to keep. A friend that is always organizing guys or girls to sleep with you should not be kept. Truth is that there are many you often call friends but are enemies. A friend that takes you further away from God should be discarded. The one that will persuade you not to worship on a Sunday morning is not a true friend. A friend is someone you choose deliberately. Watch somebody's character before you make up your mind about friendship. Among your friends, if you are the smartest, you have been adding to them while they are adding nothing to you. Then it is time to have more friends that are smarter than you and can influence you positively. You will marry one of your friends at the end of the day. Who are your friends? It is a good question to ask as the year comes to an end. One prayer to pray is that God should open your eyes to see the people around you in the true light of who they really are. I pray that God will guide you and give you the much needed wisdom to choose your friend. Meditation for the day. Proverbs 13 verse 20 message translation become wise by working with the wise hang out with fools and watch your life fall to pieces prayer for the day lord help me to disconnect with every relationship that does not have your approval prayer two empower me O lord to say no to all forms of ungodliness prayer three O lord help me to recognize wrong association confession for the day I have godly friends. I walk with the wise, so I am wise. My path will not cross those of evil men. I choose my friends wisely. I am surrounded with wise and godly people. 
I will not be lured into wrong association. I receive grace to pull out of wrong associations. I am empowered to say no to all forms of ungodliness. List your friends. Are you proud of them? Are they adding to you? If not, disconnect from them. We'd like you to partner with us in Cases in Us Club. Uh, to do so, kindly use the banking information you see on the screen. And for international giving, please navigate to the URL you see on the screen at casesandhouse.com slash give. God bless you as you do so. This devotional is taken from our books for single marriage, and these books are available on Amazon and on Kada Books. In order to access the books, kindly navigate to the URL you see on the screen at kissesandlocks.com slash books. If you live in the city of Ibadan, we'd like you to watch with us at Shouts of Grace Center. It's at Joker Plaza, beside Trans Amusement Park, Auditor UI Road, in the city of Ibadan. On Sundays, we have two services by 7.30 and 9 o'clock, and by Wednesdays, 6 p.m. It will be our pleasure to have you. Kindly follow us on Cases and Us Club at casesandus.com. You have a lot of resources for your soul.